Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for f February 6th, 2023. Well, I want to first off apologize to everyone. I had a little bit of a health issue that put me down for the count for the last for Thursday and Friday. I do apologize about that. Um, I am back in the office and raring to go. So um, how about we take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today on this Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I am moving just a little bit slower today but I'm feeling a lot better. So uh, let's dig in and see if we can figure out what we've got going here in the market today. Well first off if we take a look at the diamonds we can see that pullback that occurred. We have a little bit of a shooting star type pattern here as we tried to deal with this um, um, wedging resistance that we have here in the chart and um, you can see a little bit of selling coming in there on Friday and we've got a little bit of bearish action coming in here this morning with um, right now futures kind of suggesting about well around 200 points possible in a move lower here this morning so the question that we have to deal with today is will those bears come back in hard we had some disappointing earnings from some of the big tech reports we have certainly have some uncertainty out there in the market and um, an, an awful lot of emotion um, certainly to deal with here there's um, all kinds of talk that we're beginning a new bull market and um, so we've got that fear of missing out uh, play coming in here we've got a lot of data coming this week as well that we'll look at in just a little bit dealing with this chart first I would say if the bears continue to press notice we've got a little bit of a support level right through here that we'll want to be keeping an eye on if those um, if those bulls uh, or excuse me, if those bears were to push down through that level and um, really start fighting in here, then you could see how quickly if we lost that level, we could drop right here into the bottom side of the wedge. And that might bring in a little fear in the market. Now, what we've seen lately, any selling brings out the buyers. So it is entirely possible gapping down here this morning we could immediately see those buyers come in and start pushing back up and if they do we'll want to start watching some of these levels up here that we have created a little bit of a double top pattern up here that we'll have to deal with as resistance in the chart and just kind of keeping in mind both directions are pretty sizable point moves here in the market that we'll have to address um, as we move forward. Now let's take a look at the SPY. Now one of the big areas here has been the tech sector. There's just been this wild wild rush into tech and honestly I think it makes the tech sector just a little bit unstable in this move you'll notice that this extension to the upside is tremendous and very very steep um, in um, the SPY so um, breaking through that bear trend here in the downside that is certainly bullish for the market and we held right in here on support and then we bounced up strongly here higher now we're getting a pretty substantial pullback and here's the problem with these big point moves and all this emotion that has spilled out on the market if those bears were to keep pushing you could easily see that we could come uh, back down into some of these support levels pretty easily and really make for a painful sell-off um, here this morning so watch that carefully and if they were to push on through there well let's just keep in mind it's not uncommon to see a double test of a breakout of support like that and that would be a very painful move if those bears keep pushing now if the bulls find support and there's reason to believe that they could find support right in this area here that they could bounce this right back up and we've seen that lately any selling has brought buyers in then pushing back up here to retest this resistance in the chart does seem likely and we'll want to keep a close eye on that now one of the things that has really changed dramatically here on this uh, zooming up rally is our technicals and notice our 50 coming up through the 200 day moving average that would be called the golden cross and if we can hold that up there 
that is a good sign but just keep in mind this is a major extension away from those moving averages and um, a pullback that would could or even come all the way back to test that area as support does seem possible so you want to keep that in mind um, uh, I think being the last person in the door on this rally could be really really painful um, let's take a look at the QQQ now the QQQ is kind of leading the way in the selling this morning um, with Nasdaq down um, more than 1% um, showing a little bit of a push here and we are so severely overextended in this chart I want you to notice if I were to draw this up that is what you call parabolic that is a straight up a parabolic run in the QQQ so we are severely overextended here and you could see that possibility um, if those bears keep pushing a pullback all the way back to here would be possible and probably shouldn't be that big a surprise if it does occur and if that does not hold then we're back down here testing these support levels and you can see um, how far extended we are away from that 50 day moving average and we still have a ways to go before that 50 can even crawl up there through that 200 so this is a severe overextension in um, the Nasdaq so I would be really careful about chasing big tech um, trades right here um, particularly if they show that kind of an extension in those charts now if those bulls can get going and find some support in here well then um, I would look for maybe a consolidation or a rest along this area in here or that push back up that could push us back up into these areas but just keep in mind that's going to be an extremely extended condition here in the market so you're going to have to think carefully about the risk of those trades that you're taking if we take a look at our IWM IWM whoops is also very extended here in the short term and here again if I just draw this up here and you can see moving this trend to the upside well that is about as parabolic as they get about as straight up as they get here in that IWM so once again we're pulling back here this morning and we don't have a whole lot of support um, under this chart there is some support longer term over here that we might be able to catch and try and hold so keep an eye on that um, um, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of a pullback that could come all the way back into here um, if those bears get going and just keep in mind that would just be a return to this trend not alone let alone this parabolic move that we've seen here in the market so we're a little bit overcooked here to that upside condition and that does raise that risk of instability uh, that we could get a substantial sell-off here in the market at any time so watch that closely and if the bulls can continue to push so well let's keep in mind we've got a fairly big resistance level here in this chart right up in that area so um, a push back up in there which would be a big point move continuing that extension certainly is a possibility so we'll want to watch that carefully let's take a look at our VIX our VIX showing no fear here in the market but not as much um, as you would maybe expect with that big extension in the market if you can look right across in here we've got a little bit of a support level in here in the chart down here below the 20 handle we're showing maybe a little bit of complacency in this run to the upside and um, so we'll want to watch that closely but I don't think there's anything bearish here just yet showing up in that chart um, there's just no fear which is remarkable considering our economic um, overall economic condition in the market so we'll want to watch that pretty carefully um, if those bears were to suddenly come in and I would expect that if a sell-off does come it could come in fast and hard so be prepared for that possibility and we could um, certainly pop above this downtrend I don't think anything gets really ugly in this market until we start breaking some of these resistance levels in the chart though so watch those close and I'm not saying that we're even going to go that to that extreme right now the bulls are definitely in control and there is a tremendous appetite for risk here in the market if we take a look at our T21 
22. The Friday selling relieved a little bit of a pressure um, that we've had here. This has been a long extension here in this upside move. And just keeping in mind that we are very extended overall. Although we did relieve some of that pressure, that opens up that opportunity. If we can find that bullishness in the market that we could extend back up, but also keep in mind that we have opened a very huge opportunity to the downside if those bears decide to engage. So just be careful. A sell-off starting at any time that could be substantial, well, and we're seeing a pretty sizable gap down here this morning, may be that first hint that the bears are, are coming back in. We'll want to watch that close. And if we take a look at our T21, 08. Well, our T2108, as I've continued to mention, this is a very dangerous situation here in T2108. This is a very extended condition. You can see that there have only been two times since 2017 that we have been able to push T2108 um, above this level here. We've had multiple attempts in this area but they have always failed. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, we're very, very extended here in our T2108 and a pullback in this chart should not be a major surprise. If we take a look at our T2107, we've got a very similar situation here. You'll notice that if we go all the way back here toward 2017, this is a very extended position here. We have stretched this market big time. In fact, the last time we were this high in T2107 was the beginning of 2022. Um, excuse me, beginning of 2021 when the bear market began, and we know how extended we were in that move of the market. So here again, uh, quite an extension, and we should be watching for and be expecting a pullback to begin at any time, and I think it could be substantial. If we take a look at our uh, T2101, our momentum indicator here in the market, you can see on Friday, we just barely hooked over here on Friday, suggesting there may be a little bit of that bearish concern coming into the market from that overextended condition. We'll wanna watch that closely here um, as we progress through the week. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar, we've got a little bit on this calendar um, to be thinking about as the week goes on. But for today, man, there is nothing in this calendar to really worry about. Three month and six month bond auction um, going on. We've got international trading goods on Tuesday. We've got a petroleum status here on Friday, along with the mortgage applications and wholesale inventories, those kind of things. Uh, Thursday, jobless claims. Um, remember, that's been a little bit of a problem for us here in those claims, uh, keeping the Fed engaged. So we'll want to keep an eye on that and then sentiment and treasury statement. So a lot lighter calendar this week, um, which, um, well, um, could be bullish or bearish for the market. We'll want to watch carefully. We've done a pretty good job of no ignoring any bearish report, um, all in favor of buying here on earnings, um, kind of a lot of earnings hype, honestly. So kind of keep that in mind. Now on the earnings calendar today, uh, taking a look at that, we have quite a few reports um, here today, but um, let's go through some of these um, notables here for today. Um, real quickly, um, ATVI is one that we'll want to be uh, paying attention to here today, Activision. And it looks like, well, we got a little bit of a um, little bit of bearishness coming in there on um, ATVI this morning. A um, little bit of resistance in that chart, so watch that closely. Um, CHGG will be reporting today. We're going to hear from Cummins today. You'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, we've got Leg Mason that, or Leg Platt that will be reporting here today. A little bit of resting pullback here towards support. Watch that closely. We're going to hear from 
Um, Spirit Airlines today, um, they've been moving in this little downside channel or downside move with a little bit of a wedging channel um, happening here in that chart. So keep an eye on save. We're also going to hear from TTWO today and a report from Tyson. So keep an eye on, ooh, looks like Tyson not looking so good this morning. If you wanna catch the full list of notables this morning, if you guys could click the link just below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog so you can catch that full list of notables. How about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are truly awesome. Thank you for um, uh, for waiting for me. Um, I, I do understand it was probably an inconvenience on Thursday and Friday for those folks who um, um, kind of rely on the day uh, that I put out in these videos so I apologize but we're back at business here right now so thank you so much let's take a look at um, a few of these stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're gonna have to do your own due diligence and be very very careful in this market because I do expect some big point moves could be just around the corner here um, let's take a look um, one of the things that that I've been trading and holding here is a TLT. Now TLT could be running into a little bit of a problem here um, uh, with this uncertainty that we're seeing in the market and that potential that the, the hot jobs number could keep the Fed engaged here. So watch carefully in here. We're getting a pretty substantial pullback in TLT this morning. That has been a really good trade for me and I'm, I'm hedged on this trade so I'm not particularly worried about about it but let's watch that closely a double top in here could mean maybe those bond rates are going to start uh, uh, interest rates are going to start moving back up so you'll want to watch that carefully and of course that has ramifications for the indexes as well if we see those bond rates moving back higher on fear of further fed action so watch that carefully you might want to be taking a peek at um, some of these um, tech stocks out here like AMD that are past their earnings report. Now, um, I am holding a small position here in AMD and I'm holding that position, not because I have a real big bias to the long side, just that I had this bullish upside move and I was just kind of waiting to see how this would respond after earnings. Well, one of the things we've got going on here is this extreme overextension in the chart. I don't wanna chase that. So what I'm gonna be watching for, we're breaking this downtrend here, we've broken through some resistance, and now what I'm looking for in this chart is some kind of a resting consolidation that pulls back, that finds a support finds trend and I would be looking for my next long at that point in time. I would not, however, rule out that that pullback could be so extreme and so hard that we could come all the way back into here. So keep a close eye out for some of these big tech stocks that could move down substantially um, and, and in a pretty quick way. Um, so watch that closely. Um, take a look at PayPal. PayPal had an extreme move up here, very, very stretched to the upside. Some of the pay systems really starting to move in here strongly. Um, so watch that closely. This rest or pullback in here could set up an opportunity. Keep in mind, we still have resistance up there. Take a look at stocks like AXP. AXP has been like a rocket ship ride here recently on its earnings report and continues to extend. I would expect a longer consolidation in here, a little bit more of a resting consolidation to come into play here before too long. Remember this trend right here is straight up parabolic. So we need a little bit of rest or consolidation to come into that chart for a potential trade, but it is worth keeping an eye on. Take a look at stocks like Generac coming up out of this bottom. As you guys know, I've been talking about this one for a long time to be watching this and this potential trade. And you can see we popped right through that resistance area in the chart as you can, let's see, I've got this drawn up someplace. Um, 
But anyway, I've been watching this potential breakout in this chart. We popped up through now resting and pulling back in this chart. Watch that trend. If we can find that support and that trend in that area, then look for that next opportunity to the upside. As you guys know, I've been talking about OKTA for a long time as well and looking for that opportunity that it may pop that um, consolidation here and maybe move right on up here to fill the gap. Well, we got part of that move and now we're getting that little resting pullback in here. So watch for that next opportunity if this can rest and hold. There may be a bit of a trend showing up right in there. We may have to wait all the way out uh, to that area there for that next move up. NVIDIA is another one that I've been holding a small position in and you can see this has been moving straight up in this move. This is a very, very steep parabolic move in the chart. I would expect a longer consolidation or more of a resting pullback in here to occur in NVIDIA, but if it holds, then I certainly would be backing up the truck and looking for some good upside opportunities in some of these stocks. So with that guys, um, last but not least, I, I wanna talk about gold here just a little bit. Gold um, on Friday took a really big hit to the downside with that kind of concern um, on those big tech earnings reports and that concern that our economy is slowing, that the consumer is weakening. So um, pretty substantial pullback here. Watch this area in here for support. If that does not hold, then you gotta watch for that opportunity that this could set up that um, uh, short position here in GLD. So watch that carefully on some of the precious metals. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for being patient for me. Um, I do truly appreciate it. No need to worry about me, I'm doing good. Um, I know there's gonna be a lot of folks offering well wishes in the comments. Thank you so much. You guys take care, have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early. Early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.